Ever wanted to animate in Blender using a game controller? If this sounds nuts, the gamepad control add-on actually makes that possible. So basically this turns your gamepad into an animation tool. Every thumbstick, trigger, and button on your controller can drive something in Blender. So instead of keyframing solely with the mouse or the keyboard, you can physically move objects in addition to characters with the analog sticks, getting a more intuitive, hands-on feel, if this makes sense. This is kind of weird, but I think it is an interesting concept. The idea is to make your controller a natural part of your creative workflow, which enables fluid and real-time animation input. I think what is really impressive is the amount of control the add-on has. You can map gamepad inputs to almost any property in Blender. For example, you can use the left stick to move a camera or character, controlling location, rotation, and other things, while the right trigger tweaks a shape key for facial expressions, and other buttons toggle material settings or trigger physics effects. The add-on also supports transforms, like move, rotate, and scale, armature bones and constraints, pose libraries, shape keys, shader parameters, lights, particle systems, and so on. Basically everything from object motions to fine material tweaks, which can be tied to a controller input. This means whether you are animating a character, flying a camera through a scene, or live tuning a simulation, this add-on can help you control all that. The mapping system in the add-on is highly flexible. You can create individual mappings for each control action, and the add-on lets you have just a few or even hundreds of mappings for complex setups. Each mapping defines how a specific gamepad input affects a chosen property. Not only can you drive values directly, but you can also set different interaction modes. You see, the add-on supports absolute input, meaning analog position equals direct value, in addition to toggle or stepwise modes for buttons. For instance, a button can act as a direct toggle, or cycle that steps through multiple states sequentially. There is even a continue mode where holding a button accumulates changes over time. These modes give you a lot of creative control over how the gamepad input translates to animation behavior beyond just a simple one-to-one -one movement. To set up controls, gamepad control rig provides a dedicated mapping interface, I mean in Blender's UI. The design focuses on simplicity. You can press a gamepad button, then simply click on any property in Blender to bind them together. The add-on handles linking that input to the property behind the scenes. So this automatic binding is basically a two-step press and touch process. The moment you press a control button and select a Blender parameter, they are connected with any manual fiddling with drivers or code. In the mapping panel, you can then fine-tune the assignment. For example, choosing whether that input is absolute or toggle, setting value ranges, or selecting the target object and property path. The UI also offers features like enabling or disabling each mapping and even a visual gamepad overlay, which is useful for feedback. One of the standout capabilities of the add-on is the ability to record your gamepad during performance as keyframes. So once you've mapped your controls, you can rehearse an animation in real time, and then hit record to capture all the motions into keyframes in the timeline. It's a bit like motion capture, but on a budget. Another unique feature is Wave Generator, which allows for automatic procedural animation using the gamepad mappings. In essence, you can have a controller input driven by a generated waveform instead of manual interaction. For example, assign a wave to an object motion to create a continuous looping movement, or use a noise pattern to simulate something organic like a swaying tree, all without touching the controller at that moment. You can also have other features that can be useful in this regard to help you control your objects and their animation using just a game controller. And there you have it guys, if you like the add-on, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative, if you did, please give it a thumbs up, also please subscribe to this channel to receive more videos and news like this. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.